Drought, rising sea levels, heat waves, bushfires and extreme weather. Every day, news reports, politicians, activists and even scientists claim that we are experiencing a climate emergency. We need to act now. I call on our world leaders to once and for all accept climate change. Small island states on the front line of climate change. The United Nations wants countries to declare a climate emergency. Behind the crisis of a global pandemic, another danger is waiting in the wings. The climate emergency. They claim that human civilization and all life on Earth are standing on the edge of destruction. Join the dots. It's happening. It's happening in your world. It's happening in my world. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. Increased risk to human health and livelihood, civil unrest, mass drought, mass disease, loss of lands and homes, increased fires, increased tropical storms, mass human displacement and globally exhausted resources. But what is the evidence? Can anybody still deny that we are facing a dramatic emergency? Does data really show that the planet and humanity face an immediate existential crisis? We are living in the beginning of a mass extinction. Our climate is breaking down. According to a new analysis by Indira M. Goklani for the Global Warming Policy Foundation, this standard narrative of climate change effects being visible now is false. Long-term trends in climate data and in data on the human and economic impacts of extreme weather events contradict this dominant catastrophic narrative that is repeated daily in the news cycle across the world. If we really follow the science, says Goklani, then we find evidence that the standard narrative offered by politicians, campaigners and news media, is itself dangerously misleading. The most obvious consequence of global warming would seem to be an increase in the number of hot weather events, heat waves. But where long-term and reliable data sets exist, empirical observations contradict this claim. The USA has one such data set. It covers a very large area and stretches back to the end of the 19th century. According to this empirical evidence, there were more heat waves in the USA a century ago than there are today. Similarly, the standard narrative holds that extreme storms are becoming more frequent and more intense. But the data suggests that this too is not true. The number of hurricanes making landfall has not increased, and there is no climate change signal in records of accumulated cyclone energy in either the northern or southern hemisphere. According to the standard narrative, global warming has increased the area affected by lack of rainfall. But again, data reveals this claim to be false. The IPCC reports low confidence in drought trends, and data suggests that there is no detectable influence of global warming on the global area experiencing moderate, severe or extreme drought. The narrative claims that droughts caused by climate change have increased the number of people exposed to water stress leaving them without access to safe, clean water. But data suggests the opposite. The availability of clean water increased across the world between 1990 and 2015. The greatest contradiction between the standard narrative and reality is revealed by data showing the human impact of extreme weather over time. In the 1920s, despite a much smaller global population, extreme weather claimed far many more lives than it claims today. Economic losses as a proportion of global GDP also fell in the era that the standard narrative claims is characterised by dangerous global warming. Despite much concern being raised that global warming would increase the spread of diseases, the number of people killed by infectious and non-infectious diseases linked to climate change has fallen dramatically. Similarly, the world has got much better at producing food despite claims that agricultural productivity is at greater risk because of climate change. Rates of poverty in all parts of the world have seen radical declines and life expectancy has shot up. Gokhani's report shows that every claim made in the standard narrative lacks any evidence in the present. The claims are false. Yet the standard narrative continues to be recycled every day in news media across the world and presented to billions of people 
as scientific, objective, observable and empirical facts. But they are not facts. Reality tells its own very different story. To find out more, download the report from the GWPF website.